it's just like you. And just like Nick Wright, I mean, I've been in, I've been in this game a long time, probably just like you. And just like no rhyme or reason how this shit works. Yeah, and this hobby attracts psychos, man. It, it attracts people with disorders. It's always been that way. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> you mean like 302? No, I mean like all them crazy people on NRO. All them trolls. Uh, the troublemakers? Yeah, CB Underground. Yeah, I don't, I don't get, get into all that kind of stuff. I don't see it. I just see um, a lot of stuff with um, stunts, you know? A lot of, lot of activities, hate directed towards them and whatnot. I don't see all the other banter that goes on. I guess there's a lot of, a lot of people say a lot of mean things. Yeah, anybody that asks me about that NRO group, I tell them, man, man, it will ruin the hobby, and if you let it, it will ruin your life. It's a, it's a big psychological game with them. They get you in the group, and then they they troll you, and they figure out what pushes your buttons, and and the people that you don't like. If you don't like somebody, they'll add them to the group, and then they'll push y'all at each other. And whichever one uh, comes out on top is the one that usually stays in the group, and the other one usually usually ruins their life, and they bail out, and they can't get over it for years. It's a mind game, and then people they're crazy. And, you know, ask questions and shit like that. But, yeah, people, I don't know, they, they, they kind of shit into it. They obviously, uh, they obviously, um, definitely misdirected. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they tried to mess with me, but they couldn't get nothing on me. They ain't nothing out there. I ain't done nothing to nobody. You know, I'll give somebody something before I fuss with them. Like a knuckle sandwich or something. <laughs> but, yeah, man, I mean, they're... They're off. They're off snow, man. Now they're back on uh, on Chad Jolly. They're back on Beavis. One of them did a. They call him uh, Jalopy and Jihadi. And they one of them did a video of uh, him uh, working on one of uh, one two three Chicago's amps, and they kept showing a picture of him wearing a a, a, be, a, a beard and a, a turban, and the whole time they were. Playing some kind of Islamic music in the background. It's funny as shit, dude. Oh, I wish I'd seen that, man. Now, see, that's creative shit. You know, that's funny shit. That's funny when they get creative with it, but, you know, when they're nothing but words and shit like that, you know, just aimed at trying to piss you off. But I love the creative side. Yeah, it's funny as shit, man. It's funny as shit. I wish I'd seen that, man. That's funny as shit. Yeah, that's some funny stuff. They did one on that Skywave guy, too, that dude that does those DX350s. Skywave guy. Oh, is that right? Who's this, who's this Ron Mudcock? Oh, uh, Mr. Machete? Yeah, what's all the hate, what's all the hate for him? Is he some sort of weirdo? Yeah, they had a group called Big Watts, Big Antennas, him and, uh, Big Pig down there in Louisiana, and all they did was, uh, you know, belittle everybody in the group. Pig was a master manipulator, and, you know, they started that mess in on us last October and it went through February and finally uh, after we busted Ron out for for getting busted by the FCC and they took his call and uh, a lot of other shady stuff he did including uh, he got busted in Philly man he used to have a heat and air conditioner business and he lost everything even the property that the building was on so they headed out west they got an autistic son, and Ron don't work. He just sits up in the house all day and talks on the CB and locks his autistic kid in a room and collects a check and buys CB stuff with it. Well, uh, since the skip's been in a lull, he's, he's showed back up on Facebook. So 
I, I ain't putting up with that mess again. We done busted him out and put him in his place. I just went ahead and blocked him. I ain't I ain't going through that mess with him again. Yeah, I rather not associate with, with people like that, you know what I mean? That's uh that's pretty fucked up behavior. That's not man, it's not, not taking care of your kids and spending money to buy radio equipment, so that's man, I have to walk away. I put a post there on uh, Facebook about 10 minutes ago what your signal looks like, just for shits and grins. I was kind of bored for five minutes. Sorry, man, I had to run to the kitchen. Check them other cookies, what'd you say? I saw you posted up. I, um, I was just fool fooling around, you know, with some uh, graphic shit. And I copied a picture of my screen and I posted it on Facebook. It was when you, you had keyed up on uh, 27.340, maybe that's channel 34, I think. Like uh, maybe 20 minutes ago, you were whistling and shit and I saw the thing. And I said, oh, that's fucking uh, Charlie Brown because it's shaped like a J. So what I did is I captured that picture and I posted it on Facebook just to show you what your signal looks like when you first key up how I see it. Yeah, this radio's got one of the VFO mods in it. It's got a cap across it. Well, Skip's rolling, you know, out there with all that header dying. It, it winds up, winds up the whole time I'm talking like motor mouth malls. Yeah, I know, I know. I know what that does, because that, that's how I knew it was you when I was talking to you when you were down in North Carolina, that I could identify you through all that bullshit, and that's pretty important to have. Yeah, that, that's useful, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, it'll get you heard. It, it sure will in DX. It absolutely will. It will get you heard out there. Yeah, it's a pretty good trick. When you put, like, a, like maybe, like, a 50 or 100 microphone, can you do it yourself? No, Gunk done it. I quit doing radio work. He does... He does uh, my radios just like I would do them. He's probably the first one I've ever found. And I don't have to drag soldering irons and all that crap anymore. If I get a radio, I just have it drop ship straight to him and let him do whatever. He knows what, how I like it. I've gone through a lot of radios. He's done about 20 radios for me, and out of the 20, I ended up keeping about four of them. It took me 20 radios to find four good ones. All right, let's keep the run up. What'd you say? Let's see what the good ones are. Uh, Cobra 29, uh, this is just my Cobra radio. Cobra 29 LTD, uh, Taiwan, 1983. And then I got a 1982 Cobra 29 Hong Kong. And then I got a 1978 Cobra 29. And, uh, a, uh, uh, so, it's a, let's see, a 78, 82, 83, oh yeah, a 50th anniversary, L-E-L-X, 50th anniversary. Uh, Joe, so you're, you're pretty much a Cobra fan. Well, not really. I've always been an export fan. You know, the first radio I ever had was a, Gal uh, a President Zachary T, and after that I went to the exports. And that's where I've been ever since, until... To the last few years, but I got a I got two Galaxy 55 HPs. He did one of them, the one you heard me on in my truck with the VFO wind up. That's the one he done, and then I got one here that I did. Uh, comparatively, his performs really well. It hears really well. Uh, I just I like the audio in mine a little better, but I'm not gonna gripe about it. Mine sounds a little better with a stock hand mic. That's all. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Uh, I got a RCI 2950, first generation. 
and uh, I got a Cobra 2000 and a Cobra 1000 and uh, uh, Excalibur and I, I got a few radios. They're not all here with me, but I got a few radios. Yeah, man, I'm going through it too, man. I got a long history with it too. Shit. I think I started out with um, the TRC 450. No, no, God. Uh, 451. It was a mobile. I love that radio, man. I thought that radio was shit. And dude, I took it over to Germany with me. And I was, I was in a dorm on top of a hill in Germany and shit. And I made a dipole, and man, I talked to South Africa. Roger. I forgot about the 148. I got a, I got a 148 too. Uh, Taiwan 148. I had two of them, but I sold one of them. Actually, I sold a bunch of the radios. He's done. I mean, it's like there's nothing wrong with them. Just some of them speak to me, and some of them don't. I keep the ones that speak to me, and the rest of them get on down the road. Roger, Roger. Yeah, that's how it is. Say yeah. Well, it's nice to be able to do that. And I try out so many damn radios too. I just, um, I settled, uh, the, my favorite radio so far that I settled on is the, um, the Triton, the HR2510. I like it true and, true, and uh, I like the one for, I think they come from Philippines. And uh, they, um, they just have like a balanced modulator and of course the five band, right? I don't think it needs 